Okay, welcome back, dear friends. Today, I'd like to continue our series of one hop. The virtual machine would be DC one. I will put the link into the description section below so that you can download this virtual machine. As you can see, there's some、uh, description about this virtual machine, and it says uh, this uh, there are there are five there are five flags in total. For this virtual machine, but、uh, however, I will not、uh, go through all or five flags. The the I just show you the way I I get I got the root shell and got the final flag. Okay, so now let's just get started. Of course, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate your help and support. Ah,、uh, to save time, I have already imported this virtual machine into the virtual box. And of course, I have already identified the its network adapter as host only mode, and、uh, start both Kali Linux and the this virtual machine or target. Now we can go into the Kali Linux.、Uh, let's put the password of Kali Linux. As you can see, I have already identified the IP address of the target. As two hundred and fifty-two, then I did the map scanning. I did the thin scan, the version scan, the default script scan, and then I did the comprehensive scan by specifying the option of dash p dash. Sometimes this option is very important to cover all possible open ports. Okay. So from the、uh, map scanning results, as you can see, there are several open ports. The first one is twenty-two, which is running SSH surface, and、uh, the also the actual version information, including the exact version number, is displayed over here. As we know, this version doesn't have any vulnerability. For us, and the second open port is eighty, which is running HTTP service, and also the actual version information. So from the results, we can know the there is one robot file, and it says there are thirty six disallowed entries. Of course, such information will be very important. We will use、uh, this information when we get there. Okay. And the next open port is one one one, and then is the four seven three seven eight. Some sort of the RPC、uh, surface, but.、Um, For us, we do not need to care about、uh, these two open ports. So, what we are going to do next is to do some further more emulation for the AT port. So now let's open up our browser. Let's give the IP address of the target into the browser. It says this is a Drupal site, and we need to, to put the username. And password, of course, you can try some weak password like admin, admin, and also you can try some some sort of login bypass techniques like、uh, admin. But I will not, we I will not do this、uh, in this video. You can try yourself. Okay. So from. From this point, we can know the CMS is Drupal, but、uh, we don't know. We didn't know the the version of this、uh, CMS or Drupal. And now we can check. Of course, we also need can check the source code of this page, but、uh, we cannot get more useful information from this source code. Now go back to our. Home page, and、uh, to visit to access, because from the、uh, map scanning stage we can know、uh, this side has robots file, right? And the robots. 
Yeah, there are a lot of、uh, items. For example, like、uh, disallow, the profiles, scripts, themes, and also files. I will not go through all of them, but、uh, I can tell you from this file we can get some more information about the CMS or Drupal. So from this side we can know the version is for this Drupal is seven. And、uh, of course, the more specific、uh, version of this Drupal is not known yet. But anyway, we we need to make research to see whether this Drupal has some vulnerability. Okay, and、uh, let's use the search sprite Drupal. So I think for different version,、uh, there are some vulnerabilities, but、uh, because as we know the version is seven, and、uh, so we can try、uh, some. We do not need to try all of them, but this one、uh, got my or caught my attention. Most attention is this one. Uh, the Matt Sprite, the Matt Sprite code, the Matt Sprite. So of course, if the Matt Sprite has some modules, which can give us the some initial for the hold or shell, it will be the easiest way. So you know, for the penetration. We just、uh, try. We 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 just try different ways or different options to do.、Uh, for example, to do the share or to get the for the hold, and the mat sprites for me is always the. Uh, high has the higher, the almost the highest order, in my two sets, okay, highest order of importance. And we can launch our Mid Sprite console. So wait for this to be loading. Okay, and we can search Drupal, and we can use this one. We can try this one. We can make a copy. Of this this module and use and show option. The payload we just、uh, leave the default one, which is Metaprint. We can set the local horse to our Kali Linux and、uh, set the local port to listen as five five five. And also, we need to set the remote host to our target. Okay, and the port we don't need to change that. Okay, and let's run to see whether we can get the metaprite session. Yeah, metaprite session one opened. So it means that we successfully exploit the. Uh, this vulnerability、uh, by Mid Sprite module. So, from from this viewpoint,、uh, until now it is、uh, a bit easy, right? And、uh, now we can use the shell and the ID. Now we just、uh, the user of www、uh, data. And、uh, we can make this interactive, or to become the bash shell.、Uh, we need to change the Python. Python two, it's there. So we can use the Pty module. And go to the home directory. And we got the. The flag four. So I think、um, 
maybe there's some other flags there in some place, but I will not go. Uh, to go for to uh, go for looking, uh, for the such flags. I just want to show you the, the way, how I can get the loot flag and get the loot shell. Okay. So, and also, of course. So we can the first we need to check whether we can run the sudo, but uh, command not found. So the sudo. It's not available for the www data user. It's which is fine. Then we can check the whether we can find some commands which has suid bit. If it has, and then then we can utilize this command to elevate our privilege. Yeah, temporarily. Okay, and. Uh, Fine. Pum. Pum. Oh, sorry. I needed to use the dash. Okay. As you can see, uh, there is one command find, and this find has. As your ID bit, so we can, as you can see, uh, the the S U I D bit, and we can utilize uh, this point to elevate our privilege. But how to do it? We can go to this website. I have already opened up the G T F opens, which is very wonderful when we do the local privilege escalation, and we just uh, put. Or search find command and go to the SUID bit, and we just、uh, make a copy of the letter pad of this com command, this line to code, and then we can run. Sorry about that, paste in here, but、uh, enable option a、uh, dash p. So maybe we we. We we can try the this is we try the shell, and we can try the a bash, right? And we can go here and、uh, modify to bash. And、uh, user bin find. Okay, as you can see, we have already become the loot. We have become the loot user, and we can go to the loot privilege,、uh, sorry directory, and then we can get the loot flag or final flag here. So maybe you can use or you can find out other ways to get、uh, the loot shell or retrieve the loot flag, but、um, here. I think which is the easiest way to get、uh, to do that, right?、Um, I I I think so. And、uh, if you if you have already found out other ways、uh, for this virtual machine, please let me know. Okay, so that's all I'd like to demonstrate in this video. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.